Welcome to Moo Moo Math and Science and the relative distance of the planets and the closest star, Alpha Centauri. Next year I'm teaching a new subject, and part of it involves space. So I've been looking at the relative distance of the planets, but it's only on a sheet of paper. So what I thought I would do is enlarge this. The eight planets and the minor planets revolve around the sun. In order to help me understand this, I took to a really large field. And in my scale, one foot equals 15,500,000 miles. On this scale, the diameter of the planets is ridiculously small. The sun is only 17 millimeters across. The earth is only 0.15 millimeters. And here are the other distances. In fact, this dot, or a period, is actually too large. So let's get started. So I went to the field, and here's what I used. I used a cone to represent the sun, a measuring wheel that measures in feet, a note flag, a notepad, and then some flags to mark the, the uh, planets. So first I started with Mercury, which is only two feet away. I then went out to Venus, and it's only 4.32 feet away. Earth is six feet away on my scale. And finally, out to Mars at only 9.13. And as you can tell from this view, you can see that the inner planets are really close to the sun. Now it begins to expand. We're off to Jupiter. And Jupiter on the scale is 31 feet away. So you can tell there's quite a gap. Now we're off to Saturn. And Saturn on the scale is 57 feet away. And here I am walking and I eventually get to Saturn and I mark it with the flag. So as you can tell, it's really beginning to expand the distances. Next, we're off to Uranus. And Uranus is 115 feet away. And as you can tell, compared to the inner planets, we're really getting out there in space. That's part of the reason why it's difficult for space travel. So I go ahead and mark it. So here's the mark. Okay, and so now we're going to go off to Neptune, and Neptune is 180 feet away, and as you can tell, it's really getting far. Off to Neptune I go, and I mark Neptune, and I'm walking, I'm walking, I'm walking, and finally we get out to Pluto, and Pluto, I know it's a minor planet, it's 200 and 36 feet away on the scale from the sun. And here's a view from Pluto back to the sun and it gives you a little idea of the distance. Now this is where it gets ridiculous. If I go to the closest star, I've got to get in my car and drive and drive. The closest star, Alpha Centauri, is actually 25 trillion miles away. And I would have to drive in my car 305 miles. That would be from where I live all the way to Hilton Head, which is a long way away. That's part of the reason why space travel is challenging. So there we go. If you'd like to know more about the relative distance of the planets, this playlist will help. And as always, thanks for watching and Moo Moo Math uploads a new math and science video every day. Please subscribe and share.